Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is James, and uh, we're going to be doing something pretty fun. We're going to be making some video game type sounds, chiptune, uh, key gen, whatever you want to call it. Those kind of really like lively, fun sounds. And those are usually based in pulse waves. You could use a synth like Citrus, which is free in FL Studio. You could use Vital, which is free, but you got to install it. I think I'm going to use Vital to make this sound. And what you want to do in Vital to get a pulse wave. It's a, I'm on a saw wave right now. What you want to do is click right here and you get the basic shapes and you can crank up the spectral morph. Get up to a pulse. Pulse would be like, it's like this would be square. This is pulse where it's kind of offset and then the bottom part of the wave is actually not nearly as extreme as the top. So I think something that's gonna bring it just a lot of life right out the gate is to take this, the sample thing, this random thing, and we're gonna take it to the uh, level of the noise. Then you can kind of put like a filter on this as well. Take down the resonance a little bit. So that already sounds quite cool. However, we can do more. So what I'm gonna do is add a little bit of attack to it. Let's also make it so that velocity tracking is on. So we're gonna turn up this down here. I already quite like that um, and video game sounds are usually quite happy so we're gonna kind of stick to a major scale and right now I'm just C major I, I really don't if I'm being honest I don't really know that much more than C major so that's why I'm sticking to it <laughs> but um, that's what it is like 80 sounds good Out of time, out of time. Let's correct it a little bit off the cuff here. We need some more release on the sound. Okay, so I think it's gonna be important to give it like some life, give it some character. Um, I think we're gonna add a little bit of a pitch bend. We're gonna attach an envelope to the tune. And we're gonna set just it's off a little bit and it's gonna instantly be up and fade. I wanna clone this and then so we're going to do this in all A and to get these to match up. Um, I want all the baseline to be like relatively uniform. On this one, I might do a little bit of a pitch glide. And I'll bend up to 24 notes. Look at that retro vibe. Nice. I just upped it a couple, was that three octaves? I don't even know. 
upped it some octaves, gave it a really high pitch. And like, oh man, this sounds so good. I love this so much. Um, now, this is basically going to be our arpeggio, um, our, 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 that is a mouthful, our arp, our arp in the high end. And it's going to mainly just be filling up the space, Put some reverb on it. I just want to see what the compressor is like. I think like a... Maybe I should turn down the feedback on this. On that delay. It's still gone. So, let's make a, a lead. Maybe like a pluck lead. Uh, I'm kind of thinking that, so it'd be like this, and we're going to go over to here and get our pulse wave again. We're going to go here, and we're going to assign this to the first filter, and we're going to take this and put it on the uh, this thingy, whatever this is called. So we're going to give it a little bit of sustain, a little bit of sustain. I'm going to change the filter type down here so it's more aggressive. Just playing, dude. I love you. I love you. I compress a lot on the high end, a lot of gain. To make it feel really wide, let's give it some, some medium ping pong. Ooh, I didn't know you could do that. You can invert so there's the ping pong that's on the left and the right. And you can assign different tempos to the left ping pong and the right ping pong. That is really cool. Okay, and then some reverb. I think that'll do it for the effects. All right, so let's go ahead and make this thing. doing is I'm cloning this. I think this can really work as a uh, um, bass sound as well. real snare. Crazy because these these sounds are so loud that you can't even hear the snare man. Or just the chords. The lead is kind of repetitive, mainly because it has that, that last part on the end every single time. However, um, that can be adjusted in arrangements. So I think we're going to do some arranging just really quick. All right, so this is literally just making video game sounds, chiptune sounds, keyed in sounds in... Uh, FL Studio in Vital, 
Um, it, it sounds pretty cool. It sounds pretty cool. Um, it's very simple. The lead gets repetitive. Um, I need to work on leads. I think leads are one of the big things I, I'm really lacking in um, when it comes to making beats and stuff like that. So anyways, hope you enjoy and hope you learn something from all that stuff, you know, pulse waves and distortion and reverb and all that. Hopefully, hopefully you learned something and I will see you guys in the next video. Here is the beat. Five armor, dude. Come on, bro. <laughs>